my name is Aiden, and today is the 30th of August. Today I'm interviewing Dr. Fryer about COVID-19. This is part of an oral history project we are working on at Providence Day School in Charlotte, North Carolina, for our middle school literacy, media literacy class. Welcome to my podcast interview with Dr. Fryer. I'm so, so, what? so glad you could join me. Can we start by having you interview yourself to introduce yourself to our audience a little bit? Sure. I have lived in North Carolina for one month. I grew up in Kansas, Texas, and Oklahoma pretty much. I'm 52 years old, and I'm excited to be a teacher here at Providence. Okay. How were you impacted by COVID? Well, I was teaching in Oklahoma, and one way was, like, our whole family came together. So at that time, we had two of our children in college, um, and the older one ended up graduating but came back and lived with us for almost a year. Um, He got a job working for NASA, and he had, like, four computers, and he was in his bedroom working from home, you know, for about almost a year. But... That was really kind of cool because we thought he would just sort of graduate from college and go off and never live at home again. Um, And so we actually got to have a lot of dinners and time together. And he really influenced our daughter a lot to have her think about engineering. And so she wants to be a mechanical engineer like him. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that they spent so much time together. But um, it was obviously not only impacting our family, but school too, because we had to wear masks for almost two years and we had to teach both online and we were teaching live. There were a lot of things that happened as far as school. That's very interesting. Pause for a second. What did you think at first when it started? Well, I thought that people might, I mean, that maybe our family was going to get so sick, somebody was going to die. Um, We had a relative that was working in our area, and I had to take him to the hospital. And it was crazy because we just didn't know what was happening. And I fashioned this mask and took all these blankets that we kind of, like, you know how in a police car, they have, like, a wire screen, like, keeping them separate. I basically did that in our own car to keep him in the back because I didn't know if his germs were going to infect me when I was picking him up and driving. And I think there was just uh, quite a bit of fear and concern. Well, yeah, I didn't get COVID, so I actually didn't get COVID until, like, January um, when kind of, I don't know, all mass restrictions and everything like that came back. But I thought that... um, I don't know. I mean, I thought that more people were actually going to die that, that we knew. We did end up knowing a few people who, who, who died of complications. Um, but I guess I thought it would, I would probably know more people and, I, and that it might actually endanger our lives, you know. So it was, that, was, that caused some anxiety. Yeah. So what do you remember about lockdown? Well, I actually kind of liked some things about lockdown. Our dogs loved it. We actually had gotten a new dog. And so my wife and I have taught a lot digitally. Um, I was helping our teachers with technology at that time, too. And so, um, you know, it it was kind of fun uh, in some ways because... I like using technology and I enjoyed the opportunity to spend so much time at home. We went on like a lot more walks and I like to cook and it was a really easier schedule because we weren't at school for eight hours and we got our work done and then we had time. And then the other thing we did was the government gave money to people and so we uh, like worked on our outdoor spaces and made them nice and we would be outside and it just it was like a really good family time so that was unexpected and actually it was did you have a similar experience yeah because you know i had a lot of free time during lockdown because the school had the district had taken over and accidentally had made it too easy for us so it was it was quite easy for me because I like technology I I know how to use technology other people are having problems because they you know they, yeah. they were having problems but I did not so it was right very, yeah, and it also made me appreciate how much faster sometimes we can get things done. Because sometimes when you go to class and like everybody has to do it or whatever at the same time, it just takes a lot of time. But I think there's we can sometimes be a little more efficient. Pause that for just a second. I gotta go something. Um. So, how did your feelings change about the pandemic as it went on? 
if they did change. Mm. Well, you know, one of the things that was really weird about it is it people it became very political. Um, because some people were really upset about masks and then other people were upset that not everyone was wearing masks. And like, we go to church and so we didn't go to church for quite a while, but when we did go back, it was weird um, in terms of how political things were. And so I was glad that we were safe. And at school we were being, I felt like a lot more protective because like I was having to teach in a mask all the time and so it was kind of weird sometimes to go out into other places and then like no, either nobody was wearing a mask or people and you felt like they were looking at you weird for having on a mask so anyway that kind of thing changed over time with the pandemic eventually I mean probably like everybody I got really tired of having a mask on right and it is just so good to be done with it but at the same time like when our school finally said, okay, mask optional, nobody has to wear a mask, like within two weeks, both my daughter and I both had COVID. Thankfully, I had been double vaccinated, and it was really mild, you know. But anyway, I guess I ended up having less anxiety, um, but that also, I think, happened because of having vaccinations and things like that. But it's definitely been a wild time that, you know, had a lot of unexpected things, and we... Um, I mean, there's one close person that we knew that was in our church, and, and I knew him who died. Um, we went to his funeral, and it was a pretty tragic thing. So fortunately, this wasn't like the Black Plague or the Black Death or something where, you know, tons of people that we knew died. But it, it has been a weird thing to have happen in our lifetimes that, you know, has impacted us so much. Yeah, I actually never ended up getting COVID that we know of. There you so go. I could have just been asymptomatic the whole time. I just don't know. That's I'm right. Well, if you ever get a blood test, I guess they can um, look for antibodies. And I think that can tell you if you've ever if you've ever had it before. But hopefully you won't. So, so what was your, like, best memory? Oh, I would definitely just say cooking and the, the whole outside thing of, like, going on walks. And I, I felt like we were being healthy and bonding more because we were just spending more time together as a family. Yeah. 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 So, on the flip side, what was your least favorite? Just having to wear a mask and the the part of not getting to see people. Because we don't, I don't know, we don't always think about how important it is to be able to see people's faces. And so I remember when we finally got to take our masks off, it was like, oh my gosh, that's what they look like. Or whatever. So, it was just harder to get to know people um, and to interact when you couldn't even see people's faces. Yeah, I remember that. The, the final the reveal. Of the, mm -hmm, the face reveal, right. Yep. Well, thank you for coming to my interview. Good job. You did great with follow-up questions, too. Thanks for having me.